first task of assignment three. Uh, and as you can see here, you have the, the model that is predefined. There are three different regions in the state machine that are defined for the two actors, receptionist and admin, and one that is called room switch. Uh, and then there is an interface um, of basically a default interface, reception, admin interface, and one for the room. Um, now your task is to add two new regions to simulate two rooms uh, and these rooms can be free, they can be checked in, occupied, or they can be blocked. Um, and the idea is to demonstrate that you can check in, check out, that you can block, unblock, and then uh, basically have the constraint that when a room is checked in, it can't be blocked and vice versa. Um, and you're not supposed to change this interface, so basically everything is already defined in these regions. So in this uh, task, you're really only defining the two remaining regions so that they interact with the simulation. Um, if I start the simulation, the important thing is that you see all these interfaces and you click, you can trigger all the different events. Like if I click here, then check-in will be triggered. Um, but as in the assignment, as described, you're only allowed to trigger these events up here directly. So room events shall all be triggered through the state machines as this is already defined. So for example if I do checkout then automatically room.checkout will be raised. Um, so if I do checkout here this one will be raised. And the idea is that the remaining regions only listen to these room events. So basically that you don't directly do something with the rooms but that all of it goes through these state machines. Um, and then finally the room switch all it does, if you look at the room number here, it changes between 0 and 1. Uh, and the idea is that if you can give your two rooms the, the ID 0 and 1 and basically control on which room you work. And uh, as far as I can think now, that's all for the first assignment.